how to double your Shopify store profit without using spammy offers using the three-step profit boosting framework. And then I'm gonna show you how to set it up in minutes using Shopify upsell apps. Who am I? <laughs> Great question. I'm Ty. I'm a digital marketer, e-com obsessed person who helped scale a brand called Eco Modern Essentials in Australia to over $10 million per year. Currently don't work with them anymore because now I'm the co-founder of Monster Upsell Shopify apps. Now, why are upsells so powerful? They boost average order value. When you boost your average order value, you boost your margins, which makes your ads and your store more profitable, which allows you to scale everything further and build your business. What I'm gonna show you first is the magic number, 21%. If you boost your average order value by 21%, you're likely to double the profit of your business without spending any more on traffic. Crazy, right? If your monthly income is around $10,000 a month, we're looking at 100 orders at $100 each order. What you wanna do is minus all of the costs and we figure out what our profit is. We're looking at around $1,500. You can see here, I've taken away the cost of goods, shipping costs of getting a product to the customer, operating costs like staff and things like that, your building. We're looking at that about 20% for that. And then we've got advertising costs at around 30%, give or take. This is the numbers that most stores in my experience that I've worked with use. And then if we increase the average order value by just 21%, the magic number, we're looking at a revenue increase of $2,100. So a total revenue of $12,100. But this is the crazy magic of upsells. Your costs don't really increase, only the cost of goods. You don't have to pay more for shipping because you've already covered the cost of shipping in the sale over here. You don't have to pay more operating costs because that's already factored into the products that you already sold. And you don't have to pay more for advertising any more traffic because you've already got the traffic recently from these ones here. So you've got new profit of $3,000. You've effectively doubled your profit by increasing the average order value on your store by 21%, which is doable when you break it down using my Profit Booster Framework. Let's talk about upsell types. We've got pre-purchase and post-purchase. Everything pre-purchase takes place before the checkout happens. And this is where most upsell money is made. So a customer adds more to their cart as they go through to the checkout. But the scary thing is that if you don't do this correctly, you can actually kill your conversion rates with spammy offers that interrupt customers as they go through to the checkout. So I'm gonna teach you how to do that properly in a second. Then you've got post-purchase upsells. These are upsells that happen after the checkout. They're kind of a little bit of a surprise prize upsell at the end. So you normally don't make as much as a customer isn't really expecting them, but they are also very effective as they can be accepted with a single click because you've already got their customer's credit card details and shipping details and everything like that. My solution is to use both, but use the framework that I'm about to teach you. So both equals revenue boosting. How to upsell like a pro. You've gotta be careful when you're upselling because you don't wanna devalue your products with spammy offers and kill your conversion rates. You don't want to overcomplicate your offers. You wanna make it really easy for a customer to understand the offer with a simple glance. They just look at it and it's like, add X, get Y. Great, okay, add X, unlock this. Or buy one more, get this. This. You've got to make it easy to understand without a customer having to try and just figure out what the heck is going on. The next thing you want to think about is making it feel natural to a customer as they go through your store. A customer just wants to buy products and get to the checkout as quick as possible. You want to make it feel like it's just a natural part of the store. When you walk into a clothing store and the salesperson comes up to you, you just want to walk away. You don't want to have to talk to that person. All right. And it's the same when a customer is going through your store. When you're in a physical store, it's actually a bit harder to walk away from a real person, but it's really easy to click the X button and walk away from a digital store. So you gotta be careful of that. And the last thing is you gotta make your upsells attractive. Customers need to feel like they're not getting scammed into buying something else. It's gotta feel attractive, like it's just a normal thing that gets added to the cart. It's just normal for you to add this thing. And there's very specific ways to do that. I'm gonna teach you the framework right now that I use called the Profit Booster Framework. I've got three ways to upsell throughout this entire framework. Ethical bribe, order enhancers, and thank you offers. Thank you offers are post-purchase, and ethical bribe and order enhancers are pre-purchase. Now, what are all of these? Great question. 
Let's go to ethical bribe first. So what this is, is enticing customers to spend a little extra to unlock something. So you can do this with things like progress bars. You can see this up here. So add $13 to get a free cushion. So you've got this little unlock thing here. You can see clearly that you've unlocked free shipping. Your next thing to unlock is a free gift. And then you've got 20% off after that. So it's an ethical bribe. It just feels natural. A customer isn't getting smacked in the face as they're going through to the checkout. If they want to add it, they can. If they don't want to add it, it's totally okay. It's not too pushy and it's not too salesy. So we've got things like free shipping, express shipping is a really good one. I've seen tons of people do express shipping and do really well. Uh, we've got spend X, get free gifts. Free gifts are my favorite way to incentivize customers to add more to their cart because you just have to pay for the cost of goods of that gift, which is normally a really good way to incentivize a customer. And then we've got discounts and we've also got buy more, save more, which is multiples of the same product that the customer is already happy to purchase. Uh, you just incentivize them to add one or two extras to the cart. You can see buy more, save more here. The way I like to do ethical bribes are within the cart. Okay, you can see here, here's a cart. You wanna do it pre-purchase in a cart. It's not pop-ups and things like that, or even on product pages, it's just in a cart as a customer naturally goes through to the checkout. The next thing we wanna look at is order enhancers. So this is the second step in the framework. What order enhancers are, are they services or products that enhance a customer's experience or their order without further research. So these are simple add-ons, one tick, shipping protection or this little tick in the corner, add priority processing, get your order faster. They're just little add-ons that enhance this order that's happening. They gotta be no brainer, easy to understand with a glance and pretty much know what they are with just the name of the product. So we're talking things like protein shaker, an ebook, extended warranty, expedited shipping, mystery products. My favorite by far is shipping protection. We've done a ton of studies on stores. When they pre-tick shipping protection in their cart, Three out of four customers normally take it. Mind blowing, you have to give it a go. So what is shipping protection? It's basically peace of mind. We will cover all damage or lost goods in transit free of charge. So this is something that you normally offer a customer anyway. There's tons of studies that have been done. When a customer pays for something, it makes them value something more. That is the order enhances. Now, the next thing you wanna do is add thank you offers after the checkout. It's a limited time offer to say thank you for joining or thank you for being a part of our community or thank you, make up an excuse on the end, okay? It's not like a, a spammy offer. You've got to make it more of like a bonus. I've got an example here. So January's thank you mystery offer. As a special thank you to our community, our team selects a mystery oil monthly that can be added to your order at checkout. Add a little mystery to your order with this month's mystery oil blend. Pay now, boom. Crazy thing about this is it's post-purchase. So it's a checkout upsell that can be added with a single click. You've already got their credit card details. You've already got their shipping details, which means they just need to accept this is gonna be added to their order. Now I've got a few other examples here. So samples are a great one to play with thank you offers. AI people also love, all right? So you can use machine learning or AI. The app that I'm gonna show you in a second has this that you can just set up pretty easily. So if someone purchases something, it's like people also love this as well. Feel free to add this to your order. And then the last one I've already made it here is the mystery offers. I love mystery offers the most. What are the best apps for implementing the Profit Booster framework? My favorite are the ones that we built. We built these because I discovered this framework working with other clients. And I was like, this doesn't really exist in a really nice way in apps that just look amazing and feel good on stores. So I actually went out and created these over the last few years with my team at Monster Upsells. So the first app is Monster Card Upsells, which is basically this card that pops out the side of the screen. I'll show you in a sec. And it's just got everything beautiful that's built into it. And the last one is Monster Checkout Upsells, which allows you to create these checkout upsell offers in minutes, all right? Let's get to the setup tutorial. What you wanna do first is type in Monster into the Shopify app store and download these two apps here. You can have a quick look through, have a quick read. Here's the pricing. Basically, the more orders that are in your store, the more you spend, but you also get a 10 day free trial on Monster Cart. And you should definitely make your money back within those 10 days and you are gonna know whether you want the app or not. The other one is Monster Checkout Upsells. It's $9.99 a month. You also get a free period as well, 10 day free trial. And then you just spend 1% of upsell revenue on any money that the app makes for you. Both of these apps should have a huge return on investment. So 
So you should easily be able to justify both of them. You can find other apps and have a look around. There's other ones out there, but these are the two that I know work and have epic results. We have over three and a half thousand businesses using them to this day. First of all, I'm gonna show you how to set up Monster Cart upsells. When you first open up the app, when it's installed, you're gonna to have to obviously accept the charges and everything like this, but you're gonna have this setup guide here. Now I've got mine all complete on my demo store right now, but you basically just go through step one, step two, step three. Step one is just activating the cart, it's really simple. Step two is designing the cart. So I'm just gonna click this here. It's gonna take me to this place where I can design my cart, make it look perfect for my branding, adding in things like split payments, changing all the colors and offers, and you can add trust badges and things like that, add your own in here. Really simple, I'm not gonna go through all of that right now. And then when you're happy with everything, you just basically set it live on your store. The third thing you're going to be doing is you're going to activate the upsells, okay? So upsell campaigns here. Now, I've already got three activated on the store just to show you. So there's buy more, save more is already running. One tick upsell for shipping protection. And then we've got a third one here, which is add to unlock. So this is an add to unlock campaign, which also has the frequently bought together module at the bottom here, which works extremely well together. I'm going to show you how to set them up. And the crazy thing about this is they all work perfectly on the cart at the exact same time. But I am going to warn you, I like to keep things simple. My favorite way to use these apps is to just use two at a time. So I've got the add to unlock and one tick upsell. Using these two together works really well. Or we've got the buy more, save more and one tick upsell. They work really well together as well. You've got to be careful not to overwhelm your customers with like a million things in the cart. Just keep it simple. This is how you set up a new campaign. You just click on new campaign. We're gonna put an aim in here, add to unlock all products, a mounting cart. What I'm gonna do is set my first spend goal and I'm just gonna set it up with free shipping. Let's just go, my spend goal is $100. What you don't wanna do is just have free shipping automatically for every single customer. Customers are getting used to having to spend a certain amount of money to unlock free shipping and you've gotta use that as a tactic to incentivize customers to add more to their cart. What I'm gonna do here is, yep, so add 80 to get free shipping. I can keep coming down. I can actually add another reward. I could add a free gift, but what I'm going to do is have a discount. So we've got 15% off. We're gonna have that up a little bit higher. We'll just scroll up, make sure that this says free shipping. And then we've got 15% off and that's it. Free gifts are my favorite things to use, but you do have to do a little bit more to set them up. I've got an instruction manual here that quickly goes into how to set up free gifts on your store. For this demo, I'm just gonna leave discounts on at the moment. And that's pretty much it. You can scroll to the very bottom and you can have a play around if you want to with this frequently bought together module. You can add more products to display or less products. If you want, there's two settings here. We've got specific products and Shopify recommendations. I'm gonna leave Shopify recommendations on. This is using Shopify's machine learning to figure out what is most likely for a customer to add to the cart next, depending on the products that you've already added to cart. But if there's specific products that go with the product that they've added to cart, you can select them here as well. I'll just leave Shopify recommendations on right now. And that is it. This is ready to go. I can click save and activate and that'll start working on the store. Now, once that's activated, what you wanna do is come back in and you can set up another campaign. You can come in here and just go one tick upsell all right, so it's this one here. Really simple to do. You can run it on all products, set up your targeting. I like to switch this to square. So you, we've just got the different design style for the little tick. I think the square just looks a bit nicer and draws a little less attention to itself. Now, the reason why you wanna draw less attention is I wanna go ticked by default on this product. And then I'm gonna scroll through a little bit and I've already got products that have been set up for one tick upsells. And I'll scroll down, shipping protection here. Boom, look at that, shipping protection for $1.99. There we go, pre-ticked, three out of four customers normally take this when it's pre-ticked in the car. It's actually really hard for a customer to unprotect something once it's already protected. It's like this psychological thing that customers have. There we go, so that's my one tick up. So I can add more if I want, but I'm just gonna keep it simple for now. So you can just click on this, add more, but I'm not gonna do that for now. So that's how you set up. We click save and activate and that'll start running on the store. The last thing you can do is the buy more, save more. Boom. Buy more, save more works on buying more of the exact same product. So this won't be the best option for things like clothing stores. I'm thinking more like gadgets where things are better when you buy multiples or things like protein shakes. 
consumables, you buy more of something because the customer is just gonna eat more of it or something like that. It's really self-explanatory. It's super easy to set up. Select the products that are gonna trigger this offer. I'm just gonna click on that one for now. And it's already set up. That's pretty much it. So buy two, get 10% off. Buy three, get 15% off. It's as simple as that. And that's it. You've got a cart that is incentivizing customers to add more without smashing them in the face as they go to the checkout. The next thing you wanna do is go to the checkout upsells app. This is a really easy app to set up. First of all, you've got these one, two, three steps here. They've already been done on my demo store, but you just click on this button here and it takes you to where you need to go. It's pretty simple to do. If you have any trouble, you can just click this video here and learn exactly how to do it. It's super simple. What I'm gonna do is show you how to create your first upsell funnel. So you go to this upsell funnel section, we click on new funnel, and this is gonna do our thank you offers. We're gonna name it thank you offer and we've got all products selected. And what we're gonna do here is go start from scratch. Now, if you click on Monster Machine, what it's gonna do is it's going to activate three upsells automatically on your store using all the products on your store. So you can have a quick read through here. This is a really good way if you don't wanna muck around with setting up checkout upsells. I like to get into the nitty gritty of setting up offers though to make sure that they convert the best. What we're gonna do is go start from scratch. And then we're gonna click on specific product and then we're gonna find the product that we wanna upsell, mystery essential oil blend. Here we go. We've got a product selected and then we can go into edit offer and design. I've actually got one set up that I did previously. There we go. And this is how I like to set it up. January's thank you mystery offer. You just go through here and change all of the headings, banners. It's super simple to change. You can also change the discounts here. And as I said earlier, the reason why these work so effectively is customers can add them to the order with a single click. And once I'm happy with this, we're just gonna click save in the corner here. And we got your first thank you upsell activated on your store. That's the profit booster framework. Using pre-purchase and post-purchase upsells, we've got the ethical bribes here, and then we've got the order enhanced here and then we've got the thank you offers. Remember the magic number, 21%. You increase your average order value by 21% and you've doubled the profit of your store. Peace out.